is a question that has not been responded to. The third day of the interface with the lawmakers had the management of Uganda Revenue Authority tasked by members of the Committee on Commission, Statutory Authorities and State Enterprises to explain the huge discrepancy on the registration of taxpayers. Though the authority was in the financial 2020-21 allocated 7.4 billion shillings to bring new taxpayers on board, the number that was actually registered was only 167,000, far less than the 1.1 million taxpayers registered in 2021-22. The Auditor General's report shows less money, 6.4 billion shillings, had been used to bring the higher numbers on board. To understand how you can properly account for the 7.46 billion, in 2020-2021, because it's a lot of money, and yet you recruited just 167,000 taxpayers. While the following year, you used less money, 6.41 billion, and you recruited over a million taxpayers. Why? Why is there such a disparity? One would think that with 7.46, maybe the, the figure could be higher. The Uganda Revenue Authority management blamed the COVID-19 outbreak for the discrepancy while the use of technology was hailed for an increase in the numbers in the following year. Quick explanation to this was really the impact of COVID-19. The year when we recruited 167, yes, we had the staff on board and we were spending on them, but we had very limited mobility and very limited tax registration activities. But also coincidentally the following year when we recruited one when we enlisted new taxpayers in excess of one million, we we were just getting into the easing of the lockdowns, but we also maximized third party data. The authority countered the argument saying that the money catered for fixed items like the payment of salaries and acquisition of technology. The MPs were not happy that the authority has maintained the target of new taxpayers at 1 million instead of higher number to widen the tax base beyond the estimated 3 million taxpayers out of the population of more than 45 million people. Jackson Onyango, NTV at Parliament. There is no discrimination. Everybody will be entitled to uh, these waivers. We only need you to pay that.